Welcome to this very quick walkthrough on Spinetics Diva. To get started, log into your Diva player using your browser. From this homepage, you can start creating new content or scheduling existing content. You can also see a snapshot of what's on the screen at the moment. For now, I'm going to go straight to create. Here you can see the content already in the player, four images and one playout. We can open these to edit them or by using this button I can go and create a new playout. There are several pages of predefined playouts to help get you started in both portrait and landscape. I'm going to start with this clock and ticker playout. This playout has a background and two customizable apps, which are listed on the right hand side. I can drag and drop content into the media app, and by choosing Create Set, other items can be added into a sequence. Then I can change the background, this time by dragging a new file straight in from Explorer. It is uploaded automatically and set as the background. Finally, I want to change the text in this ticker app. It updates on the preview straight away. When I'm done, I click Save. Next, I want to go to the Schedule page, which is here on the top navigation bar. By default in Schedule View, I am shown all available playouts. Using this drop down on the right, I can broaden this to all types of content, including images and videos. I then drag and drop these items onto the schedule. The right hand panel shows me options about each item, like whether I want it to repeat. Then I want to change the default content. This is what plays whenever there isn't something defined in the schedule. Here I'm going to use the playout we created before. I click save and then on the name of the player which is always shown in the top left. I'm taken back to the home screen and I can see in the preview that my new content is up and running. Mm -hmm.